Thank you for joining me on today's video. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Helen Carolina and I am a stay-at-home mom of two and I do all things moms and vlogs here on my channel. So go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up once you finish watching. Today I'm going to be doing a Tres Leches cake that I seen on TikTok. Um, it's this girl making like a Tres Leches cake and it seems pretty easy. I sent this video to Junior because he loves Tres Leches cake and that same day he brought me all the things to make it and it's been like a week a week and a half now and I still haven't made it I keep telling him that I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it but today it's the day today I'm finally gonna to make it I'm gonna show it to you guys warning if you make this cake your friends and family will harass you for the rest of your life to make it for every single family gathering so let's get into making my bomb Tres Leches cake you're gonna take one yellow cake box mix, follow the directions, bake it, and then once it's done, you're gonna cut all the crust off. You can go ahead and snack on that. Poke holes through the entire cake, just like that. Then we're gonna take one can of evaporated milk, one can of sweetened condensed milk, and then we're gonna fill that can back up with any kind of regular milk, just like that. You're gonna shake it all up and then pour it all over the cake. All the milk, baby and then we're gonna wrap it up and we're gonna throw it in the fridge for a couple hours at least. And then we're gonna take some heavy whipping cream. I did three spoonfuls of sugar. Do it to your liking, more or less, and then whip it on up. And once that's ready, throw it on the cake, spread it out. I cut up some strawberries, fire, and boom, that's it. Okay, so she has yellow cake, evaporated milk, condensed milk and the heavy whipped cream so i am going to attempt to make them. thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video let's get to it i'm gonna grab my hair because i don't want hair in the cake i also broke two nails i need to go get my nails done again Ugh. so we're gonna start off with the yellow cake it's pretty easy i have to go preheat the oven Okay, so I sprayed my pan where I'm going to be putting the cake already. I have the one cup of water, the three eggs, and the half a cup of oil. I use vegetable oil, so. She starts off with the mix. And my oven is preheated to 350 already. Okay, so now I'm just going to add all the ingredients to this bowl. Mix it. And once I'm done, I'm just going to pour it into the baking pan. I forgot that I own a spatula, so I was struggling, but then I remembered and I just used that. Okay, so now I'm just trying to make sure that it's all even. Now it's ready to go into the oven. I let it cook for about 24 minutes, I believe the box said. I'm not quite sure, just follow what the box says to do. Okay, now, once it's cooled down a little bit, um, I just wanna go ahead and cut the edges out. And I was struggling again for a little bit with the knife until I used a fork, which made it a lot more easier to take out.
Now I'm just poking the whole cake with the fork. So I'm going to be combining all the milks together and I actually use my Nutri Bullet for this. I wasn't 100% sure if you just like shake it together or you could actually blend it but I just want to go ahead and blend it. Then I poured the milk all over the cake and I didn't pour it all because I felt like it would have overflowed but the cake actually absorbed the milk really fast. So this is what I mean, this is about a minute or two later and the milk has gone down already. So now it's time to put it in the fridge, she says to leave it in the fridge for 2 hours at least and I actually left it for about 4 hours. So here's my biggest mistake yet. I ended up putting the whole carton of whipping cream in the bowl. The one that she used is about half the size the one I have. Which is why she only uses 3 tablespoons of sugar. But since I had that much, it didn't come out sweet. This was actually my first time doing anything with whipping cream, um, so I wasn't aware. But now I know and it was actually a fun experience trying to do this. So I actually ended up making the whipping cream right after I put the cake in the refrigerator. So once I was done with this, I just covered it and put it in the fridge as well. Now it was time to cover the cake with the whipping cream and we're not big fans of frosting like in regular cakes or a big fan of whipped cream like in our Starbucks and stuff like that so um, Junior wanted a thin layer of that and at first it wasn't that good but once you ate it all together it all came along just fine So here are my thoughts on the cake real quick. I thought it was really good. Junior thought it was good. I gave a piece to my mom and she also thought it was good. We weren't a big fan of the frosting at first, but the longer we let it sit in the fridge, the better the taste of the cake and the whipped cream got. Again, I messed up by putting the whole card in, but it still tasted really good. I'm definitely going to be making it again and for a 60 minute TikTok, um, it wasn't that bad. Um, I recommend you guys to give it a try, see if you guys like it, if you're a fan of Tres Leche Cake, of course. Okay guys, that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys want me to do more videos like this or if you, got, if you guys want to see more cooking videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I have about a million toys to go pick up if you guys see that. I have to let the kids make a mess so I could do what I have to do. But yeah, again, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.